So next up, we'll have uh, early stage teams showcasing, showcasing their projects. Uh, each will have about 10 minutes to show us uh, their findings, researchers, and uh, more. And the main goal of this event is exposure. So please, uh, um, uh, please to welcome the first one, uh, Daniel from uh, Sepena. Daniel? Okay, hello everybody. Uh, slides, almost. Um, hi everybody, uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. Uh, my name is Daniel Keyes, uh, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Sepana. We're building search engines for blockchains and Web3. Um, and a lot of people define Web3 uh, differently. So I'd like to start with a very, very simple definition. and. Uh, Feel free to grab a pen and jot this down. Um, Web3 is a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer dank sharding execution layer that fuses atomic ZK cold forks and proof of brisket paratrained slot auctions which peg fungible token standards that bridge L2 to L3 to L0 interoperability. Ah. Now obviously that made no sense, but I've been dying to say that for a while, so thanks for indulging me. Um, but in all seriousness, back in 2009, something amazing happened. Um, Bitcoin gave people true control over their money for the very first time. Every person became their own bank, it removed the middleman, and it gave economic power back to the people. Today, the decentralized revolution is happening to the web itself. Data, as you all know, is the lifeblood of the modern economy. Every friend request, every post, like, even the mere hovering of our mouses is bundled up into data and sent to the highest bidder. That data is funneled into a personal social graph. Because you see, in the digital, digital realm, you are your data. Full stop. That social graph is sold to advertisers who target us with specific ads. It tells big tech who we are, what we care about, and how we spend our time. And want to hear the truly amazing part? You don't own any of that information. In many ways, it's the most personal and sensitive information about you, and you don't own it. Who does? They do. Zuck does, and Facebook, and Google, and TikTok. To put mildly, this is not the healthiest dynamic. Not for you, and not for humanity. And yeah, 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 Facebook was cool for a while at Harvard back in 2004, but today it's a murky algorithm that controls the collective discourse. It optimizes for outrage and deep platforms contrarian thinkers. But fear not, my friends, because bold experiments are currently underway to restore freedom, ownership, and transparency to the internet. Open social networks are being built on blockchains that give power back to its users. Web3 social apps like Deso, a decentralized Twitter, Mirror, a substack which is driven by a protocol, and Lens, an open social graph, are fundamentally changing the game. Because in Web3, you own your data. You control your feed, and you choose your own algorithms. And best of all, you can monetize your creativity directly without middlemen taking the lion's share. But there are still huge, huge challenges within Web3. Perhaps chief among them is that searching Web3 sucks, like really, really sucks. It kind of feels like this, like Search did in the 90s. It's siloed, slow, and very subpar. And the reason I'm working on Sapana and building Search is because I believe that decentralized search will forever change the internet. But today, Search is synonymous with Google. But the truth is that Google only indexes a tiny portion of the internet, about 4%. And that's because the internet has changed a lot over the two and a half decades since, Go since they wrote PageRank. Back then, the primary goal was to filter up the most relevant websites. But today, people create content in Twitter threads and TikTok. We've moved from open forums and websites to platforms that are closed off and siloed. These platforms are incentivized to hoard your data and share it with no one. In fact, their entire business model depends on this. And it's no wonder that the back end of Twitter and YouTube live on different servers and can't communicate to one another. 
but Sapana is building to change that. Our search protocol will be transparent and permissionless, and it will have an open developer ecosystem that's built on top. Basically, the exact opposite of what you get with Web2. Every dApp and protocol will be able to onboard powerful internal search in just minutes. And Sapana's search protocol will allow you to build bridges between dApps and protocols within Web3 so that data and algorithms can freely flow and we can improve the experience for everyone. To put it very simply, in Web2, when you search on Twitter, you're searching only in Twitter. You don't get access to TikTok or Snapchat social graphs. In Web3, however, Sapana will allow you to draw insights from every Web3 social graph, from DowDow and Mat Mat uh, Metalink and Lens and GM.xyz and the million other experiments that are happening right before our eyes. In search, in Web2, it's one-dimensional. You search within a platform. Search in Web3 is n-dimensional because you can really utilize the network effects of the data. And actually, uh, n-dimensional would make a pretty cool name for a project, so please, someone take that and do with that what you will. Because um, just imagine for a moment that you can get personalized content from across Web3 that you control. Imagine smart social feeds that are transparent and privacy-oriented. Imagine a developer ecosystem where researchers, students, and devs collaborate to endlessly iterate on a public knowledge graph. I think one of the great sins of humanity is that Google's knowledge graph, an amazing innovation, is locked behind their servers and only they get access to it. But it doesn't have to be this way. Today, we take powerful search tools for granted, but we shouldn't, they're a game changer. For a second, imagine Twitter or Netflix or Amazon without search. In fact, Jack Dorsey recently said that out of all Twitter's features, search is his favorite. So improving Web3 search cannot wait a moment longer, which is why we've already begun. Sabana has built search engines for multiple leading protocols. We built one for DSO, a layer one social blockchain that now has advanced search thanks to our infrastructure. And even more, it's being integrated into the many, many dApps that are being built on top of the DSO ecosystem. We built a search and discovery site for Mirror, the decentralized publishing platform. So now any user can easily find content. And we built search for Lens, Aave's new social graph, so that there too you can find content and users easily. In fact, if you're watching this now and you're using a dApp or a protocol that you think needs better search, reach out to me and we'd love to integrate. Ladies and gentlemen, centralized social media platforms will go the way of Polaroid, Kodak, and Sears. And Web3 will usher in an era of unprecedented freedom for the web. And the best part is that anyone can partake in this revolution. All you have to do is spend a few million dollars on JPEGs, and that's it, you're in. Uh, I'm kidding, obviously, but if you wanna get involved and uh, join the fight to decentralize search, come join us at Sapana. Uh, we play a lot of ping pong, and we're hiring across the board. Uh, so thanks so much for listening, and I'd be happy to chat with you all afterwards.